Well, Pipe fans, we are set to go once again. This battle is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a Thai boxer standing five feet seven and a half inches tall, weighing in officially 145 and one half pounds. His professional record in 11 bouts stands at eight victories, two defeats with one draw. Fighting out of La Louvier, Belgium, by way of Italy, here is Gaetano El Tigre Pirello. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in boxing and wrestling. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in officially 145 pounds. In eight professional bouts, he has seven victories. With just one defeat, fighting out of Felix Stowe, Suffolk, England, here is almighty Arnold. Referee in charge of the action is Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell in charge of proceedings. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Arnold Allen in the black with Ready? orange trim. Gaetano Pirello in the green, white, and black. And we are underway, Josh. Arnold Allen immediately taking the center of the cage. A huge fan favorite here in Jordan. Yeah, he really is. They do love him here again. As with our first fight, we see a toe-to-toe -to -toe match up. Allen in the south core. Looking a little bouncier as he takes the center of the cage. Nice punching combination from Arnold Allen. Yeah, very straight, very technical. Oh, and, well, that was uh, completely accidental, but definitely uh, below the belt. When you've got those toe-to-toe -to -toe stances, Josh, we do often see those inside leg kicks go south of the border. Purely unintentional, I'm sure, from Gaetano Pirello. Let's take a look. We're going to see a replay of that low blow right now. Oh, really, really nasty low blow there from Pirello. Again, Josh, in all likelihood, completely unintentional. Yeah, Arnold Allen's got up to five minutes to recover here. I'm sure he'll take as long as he needs. Lack of intent does not mean lack of pain with these things, <laughs> unfortunately, as much as we'd like it to be different. Yeah, there's actually a lot of pressure to not take, uh, not take the time you're allowed. The whole crowd sort of calmed down, and it's almost like everyone's looking at you waiting to restart, which, of course, they are. So let's see if um, Allen takes how long he needs. Ready to go is Arnold Allen. A firm fan favorite here in Jordan. He's fought in this arena a number of times before and is greeted with cheers whenever he comes out to the arena or makes a public appearance here in Jordan. The guard of Pirello is very wide with his hands. It's inviting those straight, crisp shots down the middle from Arnold Allen. Allen clinches up with his man Change. against the cage, looking for a takedown perhaps here, yeah, Josh. Change level to secure that body lock so quickly, getting the head to work, just as we saw Landsberg do in the first uh, fight. Knee to the inside legs from Arnold Allen. Very versatile young man is Allen. He can stand and trade or he can get stuck in in the grappling portion of the fight. Yeah, and he's, he's starting to hit his physical prime now. I mean, the weight cuts are getting... Well, they're not really cuts for him anymore. He almost walks around at this weight class. Uh, genetically, he's just starting to really see what he's made of. He's got very long limbs, which, of course, help him out in, in both the striking and the grappling. It's a good tie here from the Belgian. Alan Reed pummeling. You see the pressure with the head again. Arnold really grinding away here. Beautiful trip yeah, from what? Arnold Allen. What a fantastic reap. Threatened the knees, and then uh, when he transitioned for that takedown, Borello did not have an answer at all. Carrillo has done most of his good work in his pro MMA career on the feet. Loves to strike. Stands back up now. Yeah, Does Alan, the man from Belgium. Alan looking as though he's going to tie up for an arm in gear team, but immediately see him trying to muscle his opponent back round against the fence. Perello wise to it, though, and a very nice, strong body lock, but he gives up the double unders, and Alan makes him pay. As expected, Josh, already an intriguing clash unfolding before us. What I like is the little changes of tempo from Allen. When he goes for the body lock, and he knows he gets, uh, you know, those double unders, dominant grip position. He immediately tries to make use of it in a very aggressive fashion. And sometimes some fighters can just see a little bit more plodding. Oh, they got the position, now they'll hold it. Whereas 
you know, Allen's just jumping on the transition straight away. Great work with the short elbows from Arnold Allen, doing some real damage with those short shots, perfectly aimed and executed. Yeah, of course, out with these short elbows up against the cage here. A really dangerous strike. The head lifted off the mat's going to make it very difficult for Pirello to really get his hips to work. And if you could use one word to describe Allen's offense on the ground, perhaps it's effective, perhaps it's aggressive. Oh, that's nice posture from Allen. BC just left enough space for Pirello to stand back up and immediately threatening the guillotine is Allen. Big knee there from Allen. It's nice to immediately threaten your opponent and again, you know, not let them establish or get back into any offensive rhythm of their own. It's absolutely right, Josh. You've got to think that Pirello was thinking maybe a brief moment's respite there. Arnold shuts him down completely. Again, we see a, a strong body lock from Allen, not able to get his opponent to the mat this time. Again, the re-pummel of the head. So effective in lifting the opponent up off the toes, taking their balance away. And plus, of course, it's just really rather unpleasant. Josh, what does Gitano Pirello need to do here? He really doesn't seem to be able to effectively get out of this position. No, but that's what he's got to do. He's got to try and deflect the head, create some space. I mean, it's hard for him to dictate the change of space because Allen's the one pressing him up against the cage. And there's Allen with another very nice takedown. Pulled his man away from the cage, changed the angle on him and ran him backwards. Really good work from the uh, young man from Felix, though. Measure performance here from Arnold Allen. A very wild, scrappy, high-tempo fight against Marcin Dorsek last time out. And Allen does not seem to be shaken by his first professional loss. In fact, he's arguably calmer and more composed than ever, Josh. Well, you know, he's, he's got a, a pretty experienced camp behind him. He's got uh, he's mentored, so to speak, by Jack Mason, who we're going to see a little bit later on, who's probably the most experienced fighter in the Caterers welterweight division with, you know, 42 fights on his record after tonight. And there's the first round in the books. A solid five minutes for Arnold Allen there, Josh. The Gaetano Pirello still on his knees in the corner. Arnold straight back up, taking instructions from Sean Sexy Curls Carter. Another cage royce fight. So let's go back and take a look at some of the action from that first frame. Unfortunately, a low blow to kick things off, but Arnold Allen straight back in the game. Yeah, look at this leg reap. Pulls his man away, changes the angle, and earns a really good top position made. The Belgian pay, here we go, body lock and immediately creates the bend in the spine, driving with the forehead the whole way to off-balance his man. And here's some of that very nice short ground and pound. Technically very, very proficient stuff from Arnold Allen. Beautiful knee from the headlock position. I mean, Pirello was tired as he walked back to his corner. He took a few moments on the ground. There's a very good reason for that. And that's being, you know, that's that he's having a lot of pressure put on him in a lot of different ranges. There's pressure against the cage, there's pressure on the ground, mixing up all those different types of, of energy. It just it sucks something out of you a bit more than were you just in, in any one particular range. Second of three five minute rounds underway, and it's Allen again immediately taking the center of the cage, stalking his man down. Pirello with a nice outside leg kick, goes for a Superman punch, gives up the takedown though, Josh. Yeah, Arnold Allen with another takedown, sitting in half butterfly guard now. You see that single left leg stuck inside from Pirello. Does give him a few options, but Allen's looking to stay tight on the upper body and pass the legs, and it could be a very nice pass. Stuck in half guard is actually a BJJ blue belt under Lee Catling. It's uh, Gracie Vaha Essex. Nice elbow again from Arnold Allen. His corner asks for it and he delivers. Really keeping his man flat on his back here. And the corner saying stay in half guard, roll the elbows over the top. Yeah, absolutely. See how Allen crosses his legs underneath himself. He sits down on that leg. It's going to limit the movement of Pirello even more. And expect him to just fire in lots of short elbows here. The more the Belgian stays flat on his back, the more trouble he's got. Nice knee to the body from Arnold Allen, who unloads with a series of punches to follow it up. Very underutilized bit of offense, I feel, the knee to the body on the ground. 
Oh, absolutely. Allen making the most of the opportunity to throw it here, though, Josh. Yeah, Pirello's got to look to stand back up. He's going to try and post that left hand. It's going to be hard, though. You can bet that Allen's going to... Well, there you go. It just pulls the hips out. Again, driving the head forward the whole time. Just trying to grind and make it uncomfortable for his opponent. And again, every time he gets an inch of space, it's the elbows. Oh, huge combination of elbows from Old Allen there. Yeah, some are landing, some aren't, but they're all grazing. And even if you block them, you take a huge amount of concussive force. And if Allen can just keep this work rate up, the great thing is, at no point does he ever give Pirello a chance to respond, a chance to put his own game plan, a chance to instigate defence or to stand back up or throw strikes from the bottom. It's just constant work rate, and it's so hard for your opponent to do something under that kind of pressure. Punches now coming down from Arn Allen. Had a little bit more space that time, so posture up. See how he's using almost entirely elbows here, looking for an armbar. Allen sees it coming. He just looks up, takes a breath, drops another elbow down. Straight back to work from almighty Arnold Allen. He's got to be careful not to cuff the back of the head there, though. That does really give your arm up for a grip. As much as you're not allowed to grab the gloves, they do create a nice little lever for you to hook your arm onto from the bottom. And Josh, what's going through Pirello's head here? He really hasn't mounted any significant, significant offense in this round. He's just taking punches and elbows. What's he thinking at this point in time? I'm sure he's thinking about the fact that he's got to do something, but, you know, thinking it's one thing, doing it's quite another. I mean, right now he needs to try and stand back up and, and get some off. Because, you know, clearly on the bottom, Allen's got work rates and he's got an answer for a lot of the ground positions that Pirello's trying to put into use. That means Pirello's got to get back to his feet. That's a whole different set of problems there, but right now, Pirello has got a post. He's got to use the cage, walk his back up it, and try and bring this back to the feet. Referee Rich Mitchell just leaned in to give a quick warning about action in this position. Arnold Allen obliges with another series of thunderous elbows. I mean, you're not going to methodically and slowly work your way out of this position. There's got to be some explosion. There's got to be some intention. Maybe you go for a submission, you create a scramble. That's enough space for you to fire back to your feet. But it's got to be something, and it, it, just trying to methodically work out of it is probably not going to happen here. Arnold oh, posturing up, sitting back a little bit in the garden, coming straight in with another elbow. Fantastic work from the man from BKK Fighters. Would have watched the leg there, though, on the far it, it, side. It wouldn't surprise me if the judges are really thinking about a 10-8 round now, because there's been zero offence coming back from Pirello. Although he's still in there, he hasn't come close to being finished. It's relentless offence, and a lot of these are getting through. Big elbows here from Arnold Allen, looking to finish this fight. Pirello staying active, though. It's so hard to just deal with the work rate. I mean, a lot of fighters, you will get that. Oh, armbar coming. Allen has to watch. That arm leaving it in the guard of Gitano Pirello. Yeah, he's blocked it, he's got his hips forward, looking to smash pass here. I mean, Alan hasn't, the thing is, we always say it's nice to see fighters try and progress that position, get past the guard, but Alan hasn't needed to. He's been able to throw a relentless ground and pound from inside the guard, and I've, I've got to say, I would give that young man a 10 8 in that round. Definite possibility. And Pirello dragged back to his corner as we take a look at the replays. Dived in with an elbow, I believe that was. And Arnold Allen changes levels with the takedown, beautiful I mean, stuff. You know, I'm sure that's frustration from Pirello, thinking, you know, I've got to do something big to try and change the tempo of the fight here, and of course, in fact, fight on him straight away. And this was the story of a good four minutes of this round, just relentless top pressure and, and ground and pound. Most of it right in front of us here at the commentary position, and it really was a relentless assault from Arnold Allen. And it was great to see whenever he had a little bit of space, he'd sit back and use punches. Whenever he was in close, he'd use the elbows. A feather attack at close range, showing a maturity that belies his 20 years, is Arnold Allen. I mean, the corner of Gitano Pirello, I mean, it's a tough task for them. They've got to try and bring their man back into it, give him a game plan, make him believe that there's still five minutes left in this. And this guy has got that one-punch knockout power. If he can lay a hand on Allen's chin, you know, he could turn this fight around. We saw some incredible turnarounds and comebacks at Cage Warriors 70 in Dublin, Ireland just six days ago. Will we see some here tonight? Will Gaetano Pirello be the first one to put it into effect? I mean, Alan throwing the head kick, this might be where he starts looking for the finishing bonus now. I mean, he probably knows that uh, 
he's got this fight wrapped up on the judges' scorecards unless something goes incredibly wrong. But Nice combination of punches from Arnold Allen, big knee as well. And a takedown. It was a good single leg, accepted the bottom position with Corello. And we're right back to half guard, Allen sitting down on that leg. So that means now, even if Perello tries to turn onto his right-hand side, which would be your typical escape here, Allen's going to be sitting heavy on it. Now they're going to try and free the knee, and you'll see as soon as he shakes the, the knee joint out, the rest of the leg will slide out very quickly. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this fight, and indeed, predictions for the rest of the card. Join in the conversation on social media with the hashtag CWFC71. We always love hearing from our Cage Warriors fans. Speaking of fans, Arnold Allen has plenty in attendance tonight here in Amman Jordan. Yeah, looking to pass now. Trying to move to Mount, but you see just trying to progress away from that position, just create enough space for Perello to turn around and re-establish some offense of his own. Can he do anything with it, though? That's the question. And Arnold Allen cranking the neck here. Looking for this motherfucker guillotine finish, Josh. She goes to the ground with it. Yeah, and he's, oh, I think he's just going to opt to give it up for some more ground and pound here, but that did look like a very tight grip. Well, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Arnold Allen trying to break the face of Gaetano Perello with those elbows, though. Huge shots coming down from Arnold Allen. The referee taking a very close look at this, but Perello remaining in the fight. Yeah, just doing enough to find it within himself to get out of this, but, you know, I'm struggling to things he can do to turn this fight around. He's either got to throw a submission up from somewhere, or he's got to try and stand back up. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Nearly everything Allen throws is a hit. Again, it's just the volume. I mean, dealing with this kind of volume of strikes. We saw, um, you know, back in the day, Graham Turner was hitting someone's guard. And he'd just be hitting you so much that you could never actually decide you had a moment's pause to do something yourself. And, you know, that's really what Arnold Allen's doing to Gitano Perello here. Some of the best cardio in the division. Graham, the afterburner Turner. A man you've got to think is within a shout of the vacant cage warriors. Featherweight belt, Arnold Allen looking to elevate himself into the upper echelons of the division too. Yeah, good posture from Allen. You see any moment he can drive the hips forward, get his head up, keeps him out of danger and allows... As soon as he establishes that straight back, really strong, powerful ground and pound. Oh, another big elbow from Arnold Allen. And the sound of that one reverberated around the King Hussein Youth City Boxing Arena. And Perello is tough, that is, that is for sure. This guy is hanging in there. Without a doubt, Josh. Rich Mitchell asking for more offense. Arnold Allen obliging. Oh, good work from Allen to uh, stuff that leg through, sit back down to this top half guard. And I don't think he needs to look to pass again. There's only a minute left. Sit down on this leg, throw the ground and pound, and look for the finish. Trying to pin the arm down to Pirello. Opening up one side to drop some strikes. Pirello, though, warning, fighting back. And Rich Mitchell saying he's going to stand this one up if there's not more offense. Arnold Allen goes straight back to work. Yeah, responds with eight elbows. Doing absolutely everything that's asked of him is Arnold Allen. I mean, he's hitting all the positions very nicely. You know, he's got good, basic, fundamental posture in a lot of these positions. And just having that makes it hard for your opponent to get, you know, to get their escapes off. Went to the body with an elbow that time and then straight back to the head. Really working his man. From head to toe is Arnold Allen. 19 seconds. And Cuparello just, you know, throw an armbar up from here. You've got nothing to lose at this point. Final seconds of the round. Arnold's corner wanting to go for the finish. Dropping more shots is Arnold Allen. And that's all she wrote, Josh. I mean, that's, that's the most comprehensive display of ground and pound you are going to see. One of the finest performances of Arnold Allen's young career there. We know, we know he can go out there and stop guys with big punches. We know now that he can go out there and deliver a 15-minute onslaught of offense.
I mean, that's just part of it. If you can keep that kind of pace up for 15 minutes, I mean, that in itself is a fantastic weapon that someone's got to deal with, in addition to all your other skills. And we'll take a look back at some of that action now as our judges tally their scorecards. Big knee up the middle there from the plump clinch from Allen. Took one back, used it to catch that takedown, Josh. Yeah, once he established top position, there really wasn't any, any getting out for Pirello at all. And the elbows were the story of this. I mean, Alan really didn't actually throw that many punches in relation to the elbows. Absolutely skull-cracking elbow there from Arnold Allen. Elbow to the body, and then back upstairs. A great variety of offense in close from Arnold Allen. And it would be very surprising if that's not a unanimous decision victory. Well, I think we're going to see at least one, maybe two 10-8s in this one. I'm really interested to see what the judges put on the scorecards here. But, you know, Alan had it all his own way. There was no offence coming back from Pirello. Well, I'm interested too, Josh. I'm sure our views are our own too. So we'll throw it to Joe Martinez in the cage to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Both Cartledge and Leatherby have it 30-26, and Judge Mark Collette, 30-25. Your winner by unanimous decision, almighty Arnold Allen! Well, not just one 10 but two 10 on one judges' scorecard, Josh, and a huge win there for almighty Arnold Allen.